Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.28 from Sadiku book. So the question is find I0. I0 is here. So this is I0. In the op M circuit of the figure here. Okay, and this is an ideal op M. Maybe let's consider something to remember. So remember the properties of the ideal op M. Of M, let's draw the of M first. If we have this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal, okay. And the the symbol is just a triangle like this, okay. If terminal negative terminal is connected to the node A and the positive terminal is connected to the node B, like this, the voltage of this node and this node will be the same so this is the first properties that is very important in the idea of M. so va is equal to vb and then the second properties that we need to remember is just the current that goes into the op m which is ia and ib is also the same so i will have ia is equal to ib However, we know the value of IA and IB, which is 0. But then, somehow, there can be a current that goes from the op M, and that is not 0. So, we can have some IC that is not the sum of IA plus IB. In other words, it is not a KCL node. Because some other components is a KCL node, like BGT transistor, for example. Okay, now let's see the circuit and let's see what can we do from there. So here we have the ground here, so the voltage here will be zero. And so we have 0 0.4 volt from the ground, so this is also 0 0.4. Okay, and that is connected to the positive terminal of the op M. And if we name the negative node that connected to the negative terminal of the op M here, let's name this as VA. VA is equal to 0 0.4. Okay, maybe let's do that first. So I will have VA is equal to 0 0.4. Okay, now let's name the other node. We have another node here. Let's name this node here as V0. Good. And now what can we do from here? Let's assume the direction of the current. Okay, maybe this is going down, this is going to the right, and this is going to the right. And now we can do KCL at node VA and also KCL at node V0, but later. Okay, now we can do KCL at VA. KCL at node VA. Okay, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. And there is no current that goes in, so I just put zero on the left hand side, and then on the right hand side, I will have this current that goes into the op amp that will be zero according to the second properties here. So I will have zero here, and then plus we will have this current here that will be VA minus zero divided by 10. And then another current is here, so we will have VA minus V0 divided by 50. Okay, good. We can just plug in the value of VA, which is 0 0.4. So I will have 0 on the left-hand side. VA minus 0 is just VA, but then VA is 0 0.4. Then divided by 10, and then plus, we will have 0 0.4 minus V0 and then divided by 50. OK, 
Okay, I think we can multiply by 50 on both sides. Yeah. So we will have, what can we get from here? 0 is still 0. 10 and 50 will cancel into 5, but 0 0.4 multiplied by 5 is just 2. And then 50 and 50 will cancel each other. So I will have 0 0.4 minus V0. Okay, let's move this minus V0 to the left hand side. So I will have V0. And then 2 plus 0 0.4 is just 2.4. And the unit here will be 4. And this is an important value. Okay, this is V0. But we are asked about I0. But we know V0 already, we can just use Ohm's law. So what can we get from here? Finding I0. Okay, I0 is just V0 minus 0 divided by 20. So I'll have I0 is just V0 minus 0 because this is the ground. And then the resistance between them is 20. So we will have 2.4 divided by 20, which is, okay, 2.4 divided by 20. And that is not helpful. Let's convert it into decimal. So I will have 0 0.12. 0 0.12 milliampere. Or we can multiply this by 1000. So I will have 120 micro. And I think that's all. So I0 here is just 120 micro ampere. Okay, I will be waiting until 8 minutes for AdSense purpose. But you can leave here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.